subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from PWIP. Export knowledge be, trade be. Hi friends, today I'm going to talk about ICD versus CFS, inland container depot versus container freight station. What are these container freight stations? What are these inland container depot or ICDs? I've always heard when I was in start just starting my exports in 2016 from Nagpur, there used to always be a Nagpur ICD, Mihan ICD, you know, something like this, Delhi ICD. What are these ICDs? So, to make it very, very simple, my friends, first let me talk about CFS because that's the most easiest to understand. So, wherever the port is, like for example, Kolkata, say, Vizag, say, Chennai, Mumbai, Mangalore, wherever the sea ports are, your cargo with your container, you know, if it has to go directly into the port, it is not allowed like that. What government says is, the custom clearance, everything should happen prior reaching to the port. Only then it is allowed inside the port. Now, what does custom clearance meaning? There are a few processes, right? Your product has to go into a container. This container has to be bought from a, a particular shipping line. Then there is custom clearance by the government that has to happen. There's a lot of paperwork that has to happen. Only after these formalities are done, can the ex, you know, container go into a port. So where is this then the formality that has to be done? So there is one place which is called CFS. Normally, CFS is always next to a port. So if there is Chennai, there is a port next to, there is a CFS next to Chennai port. There is a CFS next to, you know, Vizag port, next to Kolkata port, Mumbai port. And this CFS can be handled by private parties with the, uh, you know, uh, licenses of the government. And there can be multiple players and the CFS is normally handled by a CHA, which is a who is a customs house agent, right? He's an agent or a CHA who does all CFS operations. So now what happens in a CFS? In CFS, you can send your cargo by truck to that CFS. Your agent, see, customs house agent, will take delivery of the cargo, unload the cargo, you know, then prepare documentation for it. He will ask you for the invoice and packing list of the cargo so, so to know as what is this cargo, where is which country is it going to, at what buyer is it going to, at what price is it going to, what quantity is going, how many containers should be shipped. All these details are there at the CFS which is actually then filed with the government and a shipping bill is generated. Phytosanitary certificate is generated. Certificate of origin is generated. Fumigation of the containers are done and fumigation certificate is generated. Insurance is generated insurance copy is generated quality certificate is generated a lot of all this process happens at the CFS the containers are then closed and sealed and then transported into a port but then what is an ICD let's take an example of Nagpur itself so the government has made one more provision is that instead of taking your cargo all the way to say Mumbai for example your rice shipment is your rice is from Nagpur for example Instead of taking your rice from all the way to Mumbai, getting all at to a Mumbai CFS, getting all the process done, there is also a process in which you can do all that process in Nagpur itself. So there are few places in India, uh, you know, where there are ICDs allotted by the government. So if there is a exporter is from Nagpur, instead of taking the cargo to, to Mumbai, he or she can take the cargo to Nagpur ICD. The customs house agents, the CHS will also be there in Nagpur. All that process which has to be done in CFS will now be, be able to, done in, to be done in the ICD itself and then it will all be put into a container and it will be sent from the container from Nagpur ICD directly inside a Mumbai port. So this is, this is the beauty of ICD. So what happens is if you are based out of Nagpur or in, you know, uh, uh, nearby regions, instead of you going to uh, you know, Mumbai, if you don't have any contacts there, you can do it in near wherever nearest to you, it's Nagpur ICD, do all the process there itself and then send it directly to the port. Right? Whether you do it there or you do it here, sometimes it doesn't matter much. But you'll have to always see the cost differences. What is economical? Is it sending to CFS? Is it ICD? In major, in some cases, CFS is very you know economical. In some places, ICD is very economical, right? You can get all the job work done there in the ICD itself, and then to be shipped out to 
the port directly so this is the only difference my friends inland container depot versus a cfs wherever it is either your cargo has to go to icd or it has to go to a cfs once all the custom formalities are done only then can your container go inside the port and i hope you like this information that we shared my friends let's keep in touch thank you